2550. Now, um, have you ever really been, you're only 21, I know it sounds very old to you, but um, were you ever really, really in love? Have you been yet? Um, puppy love. Puppy love. Yeah, you know, when I first lost my virginity. How old were you? How old was the puppy? Uh, <laughs> she was the same age as me. And how old were you? But I don't even really think I, but about I lost it until I was with the, um, 16, 16, 16 17. Right. And madly in love with her, you thought? Lustily in love with her. Left. Who broke up? Uh, she broke up with me. Bet she's really happy now. <laughs> <laughs> she's sitting there slinging hash at McDonald's. She's just <laughs> <laughs> what about older women? I read all the time, Madonna wanted you for her book and you turned her down. And Madonna tried to date you and tried to sleep with you and all that. No. How much is real and how much is, is uh, made um, up? That, no, that's all hype. Um, uh, the book, I would, I would have never done anything. I think the book itself is disgusting. Um, there's a lot of degrading stuff. I would have never <laughs> done that. Done that done. And, I'm here, and I'm talking to you and I'm agreeing with you. And then I open your book and you dedicate the book very raunchily. Well, you see, okay? a lot of people, some people take it in that way, but, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm not having sex with, with, with men or women in yeah. the magazine. Um, you know, I don't expose any of my private parts. Yeah. I'm not, you know, doing anything, you know, that, that's, that's really a sin. I mean, there are, are some, there is some vulgar language in there, but, um, you know, I think a lot of it is, is, is used in a positive way, and if yeah. I have to use those terms to make a positive message, then I feel that it's okay to do that. But I, it, it's really a joke, you know, about, about dedicating the, the book to my man. Yeah. But, um, you know, it's just that whenever I take photos, you know, that's like the only thing I could do is just grab on, and he's gotten me this far, so I yeah. figured I had to give him his Wait. recognition. <laughs> what about you? He is the man. In bed. How would you, this was asked to me, I send out notices, everybody in my office, what should I ask him? Everybody wants to know how you would rate yourself in bed. One to ten. I rate myself two. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm being very kind. I think it, <laughs> I'm cleaned, and the, I'm clean, and the night count is pressed. Now. <laughs> well, it's, just, it's a lot easier. It's, it's a lot easier for a woman to be rated because she ain't got to do much. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? She really basically... That is, that is until, the, that is until the, the childbearing process comes along. Right. But, but other than that, she's just kind of like on the laid back tip. Yeah. You know what I mean? Unless you got one of them exciting, outgoing women. <laughs> oh, not to say that, that women crowd. don't have to do things to arouse the man. Yeah, y'all got to gotta get me going. Yeah. But, um, uh, no, I... It would be cocky for me to even say one. I mean, you know, I... Nine? Nah, nah, nah. Eight? No. Nah. Seven? I haven't had enough practice. Has... That's what it is. What about drugs? Now, you, you advocate, which I think is so terrific. You advocate health, uh, safe sex, use condoms, no drugs. What? Did you ever get into the drugs at all when you were younger? Well, yeah, um, you know, I experimented with things, you know, used to smoke blizzies and stuff like that, hanging out, you know, getting drunk, things like that. But, um, you know, I just, my music has, has really gotten, given me an alternative as opposed to hanging out. If I was in the house working on the phone with my brother, you know, I wouldn't have to be worrying about, you know, hanging out on my friends and then, you know, have that brew to be one of the guys and stuff like that. You know, I, I may, you know, take a drink every once in a while, you know, but I'm of age now. And I don't do it, you know, I do it more on a social level. I don't do it, you know, I'm not out on the corner drinking and getting high, so. When did you know that music was going to be your life? Was it always there with you? Um, well, I knew I, I wanted it to be my life when it was an alternative to hanging out and getting into trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, I never, I never, you know, nothing in the business is guaranteed. You know, I could have only hoped that it, that it would, would at least, you know, be a key part in my life. Oh, it boy. Has, Everything's called a key part. Time. We're going to bring out your brother who's another big key part. All Can right. Be All right. Sorry, and we'll be right back. We'll be joined by Marky Mark's brother, Donnie Warburg. So, so we'll <laughs>
Nordic Flex Gold, the ultimate strength training machine for the ultimate body. brother. He's a producer. He's a songwriter. He's a member, as we all know, of the new kids on the block. Please welcome Marky Mark's older brother, Donnie Walter. <laughs> Tonight show together. Tonight show at Fox. One of them. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, 1980, whoever. And you, well, look at these two brothers, just two simple boys with a dream. It's amazing. Are you very, very close, the two of you? Like, what do you get competitive over? Uh, Girls. Uh, a little bit. Not really, not really nothing, actually. I think when we were growing up, we competed for everything. Sports, we still go at it. Yeah. Sports? Yeah, a little we bit. We at it. We, yeah. you know, we was playing ball at the house. We almost had a, yeah, yeah. We almost had a fight. Yeah, we were going at it. He See? thinks he's ready to test me now, since he you're got muscles. 21, <laughs> yeah. and you're now? 23. 23. So there's really no time in between. Very strange. Not much. Can... Now, what she about... She's cracking on mom's ones, Kate. What? What'd she say? She cracked on our mom's. What'd she say? <laughs> a whole bunch of stuff. I said... <laughs> I said your mother had she nine said, kids. She, she was... said she didn't take a break. She had a doctor on a retainer. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> she was ill. And I bet your mother laughs. Uh, I don't she, know. She, she, she nah, watches the show all the time. I know. So you got to be nice now. Uh, got I think that's very nice. You wouldn't like a doctor on retainer for nine children? Your mother should have had her litter and gotten it all out of the way. That would be great. Would be... All nine kids are made so 23 years old. Yeah. God, it's, ha it's happened so fast for two or both of you. Now, what's your life like now? Um, it's it's good. It's actually at a point where I'm real happy with it. You know, because um, you know, I feel like I'm really working for my success now and working for stuff that makes me really feel like I'm accomplishing things. Yeah. You know, aside from, you know, the new kids thing was great and uh, I feel like I accomplished a lot with that. But it was just such a big wave. You know what I mean? It's like this. What I'm doing now with producing and stuff like that is all stuff that I developed myself and stuff that, you know, comes from in here, from me. So, you know, it feels like I've really earned it a lot more. Now, you helped him get started. Explain this to me. What happened? You made a pact that if he, he gets there first, he'll help you? Tell me what happened. Uh, kind of. Um, it, it, it didn't really happen that way. Um, you know, we, we kind of worked on the... Um, the, the kids thing well, well with their producer um, on a song or two um, together and um, you know he just knew that I had always had an interest in it and that I was doing it on the side and um, you know just told me that um, if I still wanted to do it and I wanted to get out there and I had something to say that he would help me do that and he always he always told me that and then I finally felt I was ready and I said ski put me down and he did. <laughs> but why did you leave new kids in the block? Uh, well, the group itself wasn't even really formed, you know. Um, you know, people always say, well, you know, you turned down hundreds of millions of dollars. If I'd have known, I might have stuck it out. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, no, it wasn't, the group itself wasn't formed. It was just me and Donnie went into the studio to do, to do some tracks with their producer. You know, and um, I just decided to do other things at the time. It wasn't you really... got into trouble with the law. A little bit. Yeah. How old were you? Um, probably from the age of 13 to 16. When you look life. back, do you say, stupid, 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 or you say, yeah, well, hard growing up? I, I look at it as a learning experience, but it seems like now that I've, I'm beyond that and I'm trying to stay out of trouble, it seems like now is when it all comes around me, you know, yeah. being in the spotlight. And I've seen it, you know, happen firsthand with Donnie, but there's really no avoiding it, you know. It's just... It's just when you're out there in the public eye, people are going to come at you from all ends. You've had problems with that, too. Oh, yeah. God knows. Yeah, it's lawsuit mania, yeah. you know, and it's... I met your dad one time in an airport, I think. 
ask him. <laughs> no. Maybe. It may be, yeah. Yeah. Maybe my, and we're my talking about lawsuits about you and stuff. Yeah. Well, it could be the guy who said he was your dad. It probably but, was. He'll yeah. probably be trying Flash to sue the me next. Flash the picture. I said, okay, <laughs> let's chat. You know? All right. It's, where is your father? Your mother's divorced, or she's married now? She's remarried. She's, she's remarried. So, so this is what? Fourth husband? Third husband? Third husband. Third husband. And so who do you feel close to? We're well, real close which, with which our husbands. All right. We're real close with our our natural father and our stepfather. Yeah. You know, our our natural father. I think it was actually good when they got divorced. You know, looking back on it, because we got to you know living in the house with nine kids yeah. and our mother and father was having a lot of tensions and stuff yeah. like that. When they separated, we actually got closer to our father and to our mother on different you know in different relationships. So it was actually beneficial. How old were you then? We were young. Um, I was, was about, real young. Yeah, he was a baby. It affected me the most. I mean, I was going to say, if you were the baby, it should have, yeah. Although, you know, I, I didn't realize at the time, you know, that it wouldn't make sense for them to not live together. If they couldn't, and I, I thought it was all about me. So, yeah. you know, I, I thought it, it, it was only hurting me, and I didn't realize, you know, that if they couldn't be happy, you know, that they had to be on their own. You know, I couldn't deal with that. I was always trying to, you know, threatening to run away and trying to make them stay together. But, you know, as, as I came to realize, you know, that, that they had to be apart to be happy, you know, and then we're still close to, to, to both, you know. Yeah, you both, and again, the second I met you, very nice, soft-spoken, good manners. Your mother did a very good job. Um, uh, what happens to you? Get on stage, you both go crazy. I mean, it's like, <laughs> <laughs> what happens here? I'm terrified that Melissa will learn to sing. My daughter. I go, Who is that? You know. You just say, is it like? Getting away from it all, breaking well, loose. There's a time for it. You know what I mean? There's a time to yeah. be wild, and there's a time to be you know, to be a little more calm, you know what I mean? And it's not like compromising anything, you know what I mean? We're on TV right now, you know, yeah. so we're just, you know, talking, you're asking questions that obviously people want to know answers yeah. to, so we want to answer them, you know. It's, it's not really time for us to be jumping up and down and, and doing backflips and taking our clothes off and stuff, you know what I mean? When we come back, we're going to go to commercial. I want to ask you what are the weirdest things that's happened to you on tour so far? Because they're always insane stories. And what they throw at you on stage, which must be <laughs> everything, right? We'll be back with more in a moment, so stay tuned. <laughs> Happened to you on tour, either one of you? Mm. He's been on tour the longest. We had some good times when when Marky was on tour with us in Europe. Uh, it was kind of weird because um, we kind of didn't want him to tour with us. You know what I mean? Um, in Europe because we wanted to let him establish his own thing. But when they toured with us, it was like it was nonstop madness every night. I was recording. I was doing the music for his second album on the tour when he was with us. And uh, every night, you know, we would be getting, you know, security coming up, turning up. I mean, it's not nothing crazy. It's, I just got into the subject and I'm rambling what, what on about crazy? it. But. Well, I missed it that night. Um, it was in Germany. There was a doo-doo fight. <laughs> a duty fight? Doo-doo. A doo-doo fight? I didn't want to say shh on yeah. your show. You were throwing doo-doo at each other? They was. They, they was. Yeah, his group, his group started it. It was the Funky Bunch versus Donnie and um, Jake Stick from the Death Duo. <laughs> it was like, it was like, it was a, what was it, a peace sign written in doodle on the door? And, uh, <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> and that was probably like, someone get caught in the hallway and they'd pull all their clothes off and shut all the doors and leave them out there naked. Speaking like of that. Yeah, we used to rape people on tour. Yeah. We used to, not no mean girls. the guys, the, no. you know, like Marky's dancers or Marky or right. Marky's trainer or yeah, me, man. you know, they, like if you got caught in the hallway alone, everyone would grab you and rip all your clothes off and lock you out and you'd be stuck in the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> what about what you wear under your clothes? They would all scream during the commercial, take off your shirt, take off your shirt. And I wouldn't ask you to do that because it's, you know, daytime is kind of stuff. But are you wearing Calvin? You know what Can I we wear, see? John? Let me stand up. Let me see. Strictly Calvin's. There you go, Calvin. Okay, what about you? 
Um, Johnny, what are you wearing? I got on Calvin's too, actually. Well, they're mine, man. I ain't getting paid for wearing them, but you know I wear them. These are mine, man. Mine. No, mine's mine. No, 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 no. Mine. You wear medium. I wear large. I wear large. You got medium. <laughs> There's been so many rumors circulated about you, and we thought it'd be nice if we presented the rumors to you and you answered them in person. Do I have to answer them all? Only, only the ones you want to. Okay. And if you don't answer them, then we'll know they're true. So either way, we're... <laughs> okay, we'll be back with more in a moment, so stay tuned. <laughs> Up on this show and gossip in general. So we decided that since you are always at at least twice a week, topic of our gossip, that we would bring Michael uh, back out, we, uh, Michael Casper yeah, back out from Entertainment, hey. and you can refute some stuff that he's been saying and others have been saying about you. Good idea? Cool. Michael, come on out. <laughs> Shorts. He's a marky this shorts. Says no fly. And uh, obviously, I'll do anything for you, Joan. Anything. Yeah. <laughs> and you have good legs. Well, I thank you. Yeah. I, I try. It's kind of tough being out here with Mr. Body, but yeah. You know, we'll, okay. And Mr. Body yet next to him too. And Mr. I'm Body yet, yeah. All right. Give us some of the things that you've said. Well, not necessarily just me, but just well, you know, generally the people have been been saying about you. And this is your chance to you know tell, tell us, us the truth. You can answer everything. No, mm. I'll answer for him. Okay. Just answer. You've been romantically linked to Tori Spelling. Shannon Doherty, Soleil Moon Fry, and even Madonna, and Joan was talking about Madonna a little bit, so let's get to it. Let's yes or no? Have you dated these girls? Uh, I think I hung out with one. I know Soleil Moon Fry very well. Um, you know, we didn't have any, any real, like, relationship like that. Um, <laughs> You're uh, laughing. Why is he laughing? Because <laughs> he thinks he's, he, he don't believe me. But I no, I, it, uh, I, I believe a little bit. I believe you. <laughs> okay, next. Well, I didn't say no to all of them. What about Shannon Doherty? No, you could, you were on my show on E, and you were kind of like... Mm, go Did you go out with John. her? Uh, well, I hung out with her. Um, it wasn't like a planned date or anything. Um, I met them at, in this club. Actually, he messaged them because he dissed her. She dissed her. He said um, that she looked like Tiffany. She ran off crying. <laughs> But okay. I, but I, cute though. Tiffany, so? Never mind. Go ahead. Okay. Right. She's nice. They want to know about your sex life. Next. Right? But, uh, okay. Well, Let's get to the well, next. Well, no, no. I didn't. I didn't. Tori. Oh, okay. Tori. Uh, no, actually, no, no, nah, not Tori. You see, there was a story that that uh, someone was in your room at the La Mondrian Hotel when Soleil supposedly showed up and started banging on your door. See, I heard that. <laughs> and now, what did you hear? I heard it was at. I heard it was at. A, at I think it was the Hyatt or the Hilton. She me take, she took me no, home. not Soleil. I heard Man. Shannon. You left Shannon Doherty in one room, and went to see Tori Spelling, and Shannon Doherty came chasing after you. That's what I heard oh, no, from the was... unknown Brizzler. <laughs> <laughs> Brizzler told you? Yep. Brizzler wasn't even out there. <laughs> no, no, it, it was at, No, 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 no. It wasn't at the hotel. It was at a house. Oh. Whose house? Uh, it was at a house. Oh. Uh -huh. Ski, ski. <laughs> you me you, ski. <laughs> so you left Shannon Doherty in one bedroom and went running down the hall to another bedroom where Tori Spelling was waiting for you? No, no, no. Are these no, the correct no. rooms? That's just what I heard. I didn't say that. That's right. just what I heard. That's what's going around. Yeah. But no, uh, you know, we hung out at the club for a little while. You know, we went back to um, her house. Chilled out for a while. You know, a little song. Okay. But uh, nah, not my type. Okay, next. Well, now there was a, another thing about about Tori. 
there was apparently an incident uh, at the limelight with Tori, and some guy popped out. What do you call it? The man popped yeah. out his. Yeah, he pulled out. His what what really happened? What's his thing? His joint. His his penis. Oh. Yes. His. Oh no. Yeah, That's we heard that. We heard that. Well, did that happen? We um. And then you we, matched him. Is that what we heard? No, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, it, was a, it was a well endowed contest, apparently, and everybody wanted to know that you, know, you joined, in joined into that. No, 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 I, I took no part in that. I, actually, the guy was lucky I didn't punch him in his eye. But um, what happened, I was standing there. Um, we, had did, we had done a TV show earlier, me and Tori um, co hosted Friday Night Videos together. Right. And, um, you know, we just went out to, a, um, we went out to the limelight. And um, I wasn't even really paying attention. I was speaking with um, John Norris from MTV. And, um, you know, she was, you know, going on with her friends, and all of a sudden, Somebody had, had tapped me, and he goes, what the, what's that guy doing? I turned around, and the guy was was, was messing with you. his private area. Yeah, and, um, you know, they were all caravanning and carrying on and having a good time about it, and I just told them, you know, do that somewhere else. Good for you. You know, and that was like it. Thank you. You're and, a good um, kid. But I, I couldn't believe, you know, that they was gigging off of that. You know, Tori and all of them seemed to be into it. That's they was liking it. <laughs> 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 they was liking it. Well, you should stop this for a second, and we'll be back with more if there is more. In a moment, so stay tuned. <laughs> Warburg and entertainment's Michael Cassidy. Before we finish up, you had one item on Gerardo. Well, we've been talking a lot about sex, and uh, I understand from Gerardo that before he goes to bed with a woman, he has one rule, and that is she has to take her shoes off. If she doesn't have good-looking feet, it's over with. She's out of the limo. What do you guys look at at a woman first? I like the behind. Behind. And I ain't seen yours yet, and I've been I wondering. <laughs> 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 Thank you. What can I tell you? Yet. I know. Although I've seen a little something when you were doing your exercise segment. Just a little something. <laughs> what about you? What do you look at? Uh, I like I like girls with brains. With you brains. Know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Last thing. If each of you. Just Come a on, quick man. question, What's each wrong of you. With brains? What oh, brains is cool, but you know, physical attraction is always if physical. Physical is great, you know, but if she's stupid, then who yeah. do you need all that? You know, I like brains and. Zun, and beauty. I want to thank you both very much. You've got thank the you. Calvin. You want to throw them out the audience? Be my guest. Tomorrow's show, people will witness miracles. We'll see you tomorrow.